Hello everybody. Today I'm doing something which I had planned to do with Modo for a long time. But with Modo it was just a bit clumsy, needed quite a lot of manual interventions and with Blender 2.8 I realized that it is so much easier. The subject is importing character tunes from Make Human to Blender where you can continue rigging them. They are completely rigged and ready to be posed. Okay, now the first thing is you must download Make Human Community 1.2.0 Alpha 3. Then you get this zip file in your uh, download directory. It contains a readme file which says you will not be able to start it by navigating to the installation folder, which means you start it from here and then it contains the make human community installation file which is contains everything you need and it contains a directory with blender plugins and these plugins are for blender 2.79 or 2.80 and the ones you need is the 2.80 ones and this one has not yet been converted so it is currently unusable in 2.80. So make a note of your download directory, we will need that later. When you have installed Make Human and you start it, you will, that's the wrong one, You will see this here. And we put some clothes on just in case with uh, YouTube you never know. So this is a very simple character and uh, this is how Make Human looks and maybe it is good when I say what this tutorial is not. It will not be a make human tutorial. It will not be a rigging tutorial in Blender. And it will only be importing a character from make human to Blender. So you have a tune maybe for an architectural uh, scene. So when you start here and maybe before I continue, uh, there are people who make incredible stuff with uh, Make Human. For example, here in the forum, we have a gallery. And where is it? This one. This looks pretty real, doesn't it? I mean, these people are real artists and I admire them. Okay, anyway, you see what it's possible and uh, the beauty of Make Human is you get a character which is completely rigged. You don't have to do anything and there are several types of rigs which I will show you later. Okay, here just a quick go through. You start with modeling. You can, uh, you can pretty much change everything 
you can think of and even things you will probably not think of. So uh, <clears throat> you can uh, <laughs> change the neck or the left ear or the chin or whatsoever and you have a, lo a lot of uh, things you can customize so that when you are finally happy with your character it looks the way you want it to look before you import it to Blender. So let's uh, have a quick look here. You can also have different eyes. Uh, I take blue ones. Unfortunately, the controls in Make Human are not quite the same, but they're quite intuitive. Here you have a pose and animate tab. And this is quite an important one because here are the four uh, rigging types which you can choose from. There are the default you actually only need this one if you want to do your own facial animations. This one is the same but without toes if you put shoes on your character. Here is an interesting one. It's from the Carnegie Mellon University. They have uh, published more than 2000 animation files which have been uh, recorded with uh, motion capture and they have been translated by a kind person to uh, a format which Blender likes. Go and have a look at this URL here. I usually take this game engine rig for simple poses because it's pretty simple and it on also has bones for the fingers in case your tune holds a glass or something like this. Anyway, you can also uh, add hair different one or I will not do or teeth tongue this is only when you have a facial expression where the mouth is open if you uh, don't have this then it's not necessary you can uh, put eyebrows eyelashes my character here already has this. It's a, a very simple one and in the materials tab, sorry, in the geometries tab you also have clothes. These are the default ones and what you also have is this community tab where you can download hundreds and hundreds of community uh, created poses, clothes, whatsoever. You see it here. And the important thing for what we plan to do is the socket tab here because this one comes like this. You must tell make human to accept connections and here you see on what part we listen and that we uh, run over a local host. Okay so this is important this must be uh, ticked and let's give our character a little pose maybe this one I have downloaded it 
from the community and as you can see the fingers sink into the body now this can be fixed in two ways either after we exported it to a, a blender or we can fix it in here on the modeling tab with torso hip and we scale the depth of the hip a bit and scale it horizontally a bit till the fingers are just touching the surface like this so now uh, we are pretty much done in here and we can did I measure our tune? It's 1.62 meters, yes. I make it a bit bigger to show something because, as you know, this is an alpha version of Make Human. And for example, if you change the height, <laughs> it starts to make some difficult uh, or funny deformations but when you leave the button alone then it will be back to normal and now when we measure our tune is 167 that's perfect because this is more or less the same height as i have okay now we are done here and we can switch over to Blender. First thing we must do is we must edit our preferences and then install and then navigate to our downloads directory and here we have Make Human Community, Blender plugins and we must install this one and this one. I have of course already done it but <clears throat> uh, if I search for MH, maybe, yes, make Hume, you see they are both enabled and now if you press the N key you have two new tabs here. The one which is important is uh, Make Human. This one is, you can't change anything here except this here. I am not even quite sure if we need this because this is a special format which Make Human provides. It's called Make Human Transfer 2, whatsoever. If someone of you knows if it's necessary, then please put it in the comment. If you know it's not necessary, then also put it in the comment. Okay, the one we are interested in is this one here. And important is we have localhost here also, and we have the same port. Now I can import this human. It uh, looks a bit different because we need to have a look at it in either rendered mode or in this uh, look dev mode. Okay, now here it is and this black lines these are the armature or the bones when you click on it you get two new tabs down here this one allows for example to change the viewport display the, if you like this bet then okay i prefer this stick ones and the other two are in my opinion more or less unusable as soon as you select the armature you 
get a new mode, the pause mode, which is not available as long as you don't have bones in your character. And I will not uh, do a lot, I just would like to explain something, something quite important. If you click on uh, one of these, maybe I go to front view, and then I, uh, I rotate this and say I want to have the legs uh, in a more closed position, like so, for my uh, character. And if I tap now to another mode, edit for example, you see uh, I lose my pose. And I would like to show what you have to do to change this. First you go to object mode, then you select your character, then you go to the modifiers and you see uh, Blender has added quite a lot of modifiers automatically. I'm not sure which one has added it. Is it Make Human or is it MHX2 Runtime? Anyway, what you need to do is the Armature modifier you must copy. Don't worry about uh, these legs and apply it. Now we can go back to pose mode and you see we have this tab here, pose, where we can apply pose as rest pose. And now our character, independent of the mode we are in stays the same. Well, that was it for today. I hope you liked it and found this useful. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you some other time. Bye bye.